Fabrication Nation. So, uh, I got a new hot rod, kind of. And I'm gonna take you over to see it. Actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this. But, if you don't, you'll see it today. So anyway, we're headed over to the new property where the house is being built. I hadn't really made much progress. That's where the new hot rod is, so we're gonna check it out. Alright, so before I show you what I was talking about, let's do a uh, quick house update. Hadn't really made much progress. The weather hasn't really been... Neighbors. Uh, hadn't really made much progress. The weather hasn't really been our friend, so... Uh, still kind of moving slow, but I'll show you an update. So we do have all of our floor joists. All the flooring itself is over there. Um, all the wood, or most of the wood, just waiting. We're actually waiting, I think, we're actually waiting for the rest of the foundation to be done. Uh, I gotta finish the brick work, um, all the cinder blocks done. See, as you can see, a lot of the brick is already done. This whole back side of the house has been finished, and they've got some of it on the front side. still so you can see the front side it's getting complete but I think in order for them to even put the floor joist down they have to have all of that done so I think that's really what they're waiting on uh, so I don't know maybe maybe they'll make some progress fast soon so anyway let's uh let's get to what I'm here to show you guys It's not that, although it does look pretty good. All right, so this is, you can kind of see the house from the back side. You see the dually over there. So I'm in back or to the side of the house. This is actually where I was looking at doing like shop location number two, if you've seen that video. And uh, that is my new hot rod. what you thought it was gonna be but yeah I kind of was torn about getting this or a skid steer I really wanted something that I could do a bunch of work around the property with especially while the house is being built and I'm kind of uh, I don't know landscaping I guess right I gotta build a shop I gotta remove a bunch of trees move some stuff around um, because I got property now I needed to have something I could cut cut the field with 
So that's why I was torn between a skid steer and a tractor. Obviously cutting the field with the skid steer would be kind of a pain in the butt. Whereas the tractor makes a lot more sense for that. The tractor can't do as much grade work, but I felt like there was maybe, I felt like the tractor was the better compromise. Um, and I'll just have to hire out any kind of grading that I want to do that I can't get done with this thing. So far, this thing's been pretty good. I've kind of used it around everywhere, picked up some of the brush piles that I tried to burn in the past and uh, pushing over some little trees and, and that sort of thing. So what do we have here? It's a Kubota 9000, M9000, 90 horse tractor, uh, four wheel drive, obviously has a loader in the front and a cab, AC, heat, radio. That was the other thing too. It's like 95 degrees right now here. And in the winter time it gets cold and I just assume I have to be out in it if I don't have to. So I kind of splurged a little bit more, got something a little bit bigger that uh, was comfortable and you know, I can kind of trick it out, make it my own. So the plans are, I'm gonna use the crap out of this thing here in the, in the short term, once the shop's up and stuff, I wanna kind of like, not restore this tractor, but like put a bunch of lipstick on it. So probably gonna tint the windows on this thing, uh, repaint a lot of it, repaint the wheels, um, try to buff out as much of the factory paint as I can, paint the rest, add some attachments, make some attachments. We'll be fabbing some attachments for this thing in the future. Got some ideas of stuff I want to do. I don't know, LED bar, just stuff. Just we're gonna we're gonna make this thing a little hot rod. We're gonna make it we're gonna make it my own. You know what I'm saying? So that's the plan with this thing. Use it utility now. Once the shop's done, I'm gonna clean it up, get it the way I want it, trick it out a little bit, um, still use it around the property, cut in the field, and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure you're asking what I'm here doing, what I'm doing here today. Well, I think what I've decided is to put the shop right here where the old barn is, which is uh, placement number two. You can kind of see the barn behind me, and if you roll it around, there's the house. All right, you can see the little, see the little red speck. That's the uh, that's the dually in the driveway. So the thing that's nice is you can't really see the road from here. The road can't be seen, or the shop can't be seen from the road. But it's a great placement between, you know, behind the house. It's close. Not really worried about uh, having huge events here. I'm sure I'll have a bunch of events with close friends and maybe some small clubs and that sort of thing. But. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'll end up getting a commercial location away from my property for big events. Or just have big meetups, you know, right here in town. Just basically say, hey, you know, we're going to meet up right here in town. We're going to cruise town. Y'all meet right here. Have a big cruise in, post it by myself, and then they're not all here, right? So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Shop, I think, is going to go here. Uh, still kind of waiting on some quotes for grading and stuff, but until then, I'm going to start cleaning it up. The barn has to come down no matter what. I want to salvage about the bunch of the tin and the barn wood off this thing. A lot of that's going to go in the new shop for some decor. Uh, some of them will go in the house. I've got some ideas of putting some of the barn wood in the house as well, so... I figured, why not? Let the tractor do the work. I can sit in the AC, listen to some tunes.
Alright, I think that's enough damage for today. I actually had parts fall off the tractor already. This piece goes right. Right there. I don't have the bucket all the way down so it won't go back on there, but I've actually put it on, put it on before. I think it's supposed to have some kind of shear pins that go through there or a bolt or something and really like none of them have them one's got a bolt in there but like that side nothing 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 so i don't know you gotta figure that out figure out what goes in all those get all that stuff replaced i guess that's just part of it i don't know Guess really the main reason I brought you guys out here is I had to. Uh, you know, neighbors, we're gonna get along just fine. So I had this uh, father of a son contact me and basically said that his son was very interested in fabrication. Um, that he uh, learned some skills and instantly wanted to kind of take it to the top level. He'll take a little bit of skills he has to the top level. He didn't want to go the in between, learn all the things in between, learn all the skills, learn all that, get all the experience. And uh, I guess just like this, just out here working on this property, doing these things, it's not going to be instant. I mean, I guess I could pay somebody to make it go by way faster, but there's always a process to everything. And really, the most important skill that you can have in life, in my opinion, is patience. Because in order to get to the place that you want to get or get to the place where everybody else is or somebody else is that you, you know, aspire to be like, it takes time, it takes patience. Uh, those people work a lot before they get there. Sometimes it doesn't look like they do, but they always do. There's a saying that goes, um, the harder you work, the luckier you get. Yeah, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And the reason that's a, a saying that people use is because everybody from the outside looking in feels like everybody's lucky, right? The people who succeed in whatever it is that they want to do in life, in their career, you know, they have a business, they have a whatever. They feel like they got lucky. They feel like it happened overnight, but they don't see all the work that goes in years and years in advance that got them there, that maybe put them in the position to be lucky. Maybe they did get a, a lucky break, maybe the five six eight years they put into whatever it was they were doing previous to that put them in a position to get that lucky break that's the way life works that's exactly how it happens doesn't really have anything to do with what kind of grades you get or the education you have if you put in enough work you'll put yourself in a position to be lucky promise guaranteed tell kids that all the time when I was in school, I wasn't the best student. And so I don't want other kids or grown people or whatever that maybe didn't have the best grades growing up feel like they're at a disadvantage because they're not. This, uh, this world doesn't care what kind of education you got. But it will reward you for the amount of work you put in. And that work takes time. And that's where patience comes in. You gotta have patience. You gotta learn each skill. You gotta learn. You gotta perfect those skills. You gotta. It takes time. Like, the reason the best are the best is because they've worked on it for so long. And the reason you can't be there or anybody else can't be there is because they haven't put in the work. They haven't had the patience. So, anyway, you gotta be patient. Do work, be patient, and it'll happen. Anyways. I'm gonna get back on some fabrication. I'm not gonna be doing any more videos like this. Well, I will be, but back in some fabrication in the shop. It's been like 100 degrees out here. I haven't really been wanting to be in the shop when it's 100 degrees, but uh, I got some things I need to take care of. I have been working on some videos that are gonna come out in the future, some more collab. I'm gonna try to do a little higher quality video. Been working on those for the last month or so, and uh, that's been taking up a lot of my time. But gonna be some goose riding. I've been go driving the goose a little bit, i uh, got a couple of issues that i found that I need to fix. But uh, probably some goose videos pretty soon. And definitely back on the dipster working on that thing. Getting some stuff done. So, 
as always thank you for joining me i'll see you guys some more this week next week the week after that check this out this is the tripod i'm using for my camera that's how big that tire is anyway have a good week till the next video peace <laughs>